Hi, Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make tropical slaw with pineapple. So what you need is plain Greek yogurt. They didn't have a bigger one at my store so I just got two of these small ones just to make sure I have enough. An 8 ounce can of pineapple tidbits. Shredded carrots. Shredded cabbage. Apple cider vinegar. Honey. A jalapeno we're going to chop. Cilantro and green onion. So let's go ahead and get started. So we need half a cup of the onions. So let's go ahead and start with that. Get that sliced up. How are you all doing today? I'll definitely put a recipe down below. So I'm going to chop this up, half a cup of this, and then a third a cup of the cilantro. I don't normally like to add like the onion and the cilantro because I'm not a big fan, but this seems like it's going to be good, um, like you kind of need everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I normally wouldn't. looks like I'm going to need all of these, but I'll just do a couple at a time. Are you supposed to go further up on the onion? Because I, I left a lot. I just, I don't know. I thought you didn't do the green part too much. Or am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> if I'm wrong, let me know if I'm wasting onion. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish chopping this up um, for the jalapeno. I have gloves because I don't know if you guys watched my video where I don't remember what I was making but then I went to go like fix my makeup for I don't even know what for whatever reason later on after and my eyes burned and watered for a long time so I have vowed to not cut chili or jalapenos or anything without gloves. <laughs> lesson learned <laughs> let me know if you guys have ever made coleslaw this is a little different take on your typical coleslaw but I thought it seemed really good and um, interesting so I thought I would give it a try and share it with you all okay let's see where we're at Jeez, I didn't think I was going to need all this, but I was mistaken. Of course, I don't know if I'm doing it right, if I needed to use more, but that's okay. I will learn. You guys will teach me. Okay, so that is as far as I'm going to go with this. Plus, my eyes are starting to water. Let me go ahead and get the mints off my hands and get the cilantro. So here's my bunch of cilantro. Third a cup seems like a lot to me, but I want to follow it pretty closely. Whoo, this is strong. Do you guys like cilantro? Let me know in the comments. If you guys like it? If you guys use it? I am not a big cilantro fan. But sometimes you change, so I kind of want to use it and see if maybe I like it now. I don't know. It's pretty strong smelling to me, though, so I'm not sure if this is the right route. <laughs> Hopefully, if not, others in my family will like it and they can enjoy it. That seems close enough, I think. Oh yeah, third a cup. Okay, now let me rinse this off and we get my gloves on and we'll do the jalapeno. All right, I'm prepared. Got my gloves, I got the jalapeno. This seems big, it's just, but it just said one jalapeno, so um, we'll see. <laughs> I'll see what I think is we're mixing things together. And let me know if you guys try this. 
Ooh, this seems a little spicy. It's getting in my throat. I'm just taking the seeds out over here. I know you guys can't see, I'm sorry. I didn't think about that, but I just wanted to do it over the sink. All right. And I don't want all those seeds, so. Let me know what you guys have all been up to. I um, started doing a Bible study last year. It's called BSF Bible Study. Um, gosh, Bible Study Foundation? I'm not sure what that stands for, which is always called BSF. Anyway, um, and I did it in person. But this year, since I have my grandson, and just life is different than it was last year, um, I'm doing, still doing it, but doing it on Zoom. So, a little different. I have to really work on staying focused. Because, you know, like when you're in person, you're there, you're present. When I'm doing it online, on Zoom, I find myself, like, looking at my phone, and I can put to where they, they can't see me. I can, you know, mute myself, and, uh, you know, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> um, so I need to pray on that and work on staying focused and not doing those things like I keep my phone with me because while I'm here you know um, Cheyenne is watching my grandson my daughter's watching my grandson she's homeschooled so she'll take a break during that time it's only like 40 minutes that I am on there so she'll take a break from school and she'll watch my grandson but I want to keep my phone you know in case she needs something in case you know so I can't like really like because I thought well maybe I could just not have my phone I mean I guess she could go get me but it's just kind of you know she doesn't want to be in the camera or be like making noise in the background so I just need to work on being more focused okay so we got the jalapeno and let's start mixing things together all right, so let's go ahead. We need a third a cup of the Greek yogurt. So I have my third a cup right here. I guess I should kind of mix this up. I do not like the way Greek yogurt smells at all. And I don't like plain Greek yogurt at all. I barely like vanilla Greek yogurt. That one's okay, but I do like like the cherry and the blueberry as far as Greek yogurt goes, but plain, not at all. And then um, vanilla, mm, it's okay. What about you guys? Do you like, like Greek yogurt? Do you eat yogurt? Or do you like just regular like Yoplait yogurt? Let me know. I always like to see what others like. Okay, so third a cup, I guess I didn't need to get the two, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. Maybe somebody will eat it. I don't know. My daughter, my older daughter, probably likes plain Greek yogurt. She likes things like that. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Got my tablespoon here. There we go. Three tablespoons of pineapple juice. So I have my pineapples I haven't opened yet. Let me go ahead and put the juice in this bowl that I already had because I knew I had to save it but okay let's see. Three tablespoons of the pineapple juice. One, two, three, and three tablespoons of honey. And then we're going to whisk this all together. Okay, one, two, kind of, this is not going to be an exact measurement at all, three. All right. Now we're going to whisk this. Got my whisk. Let's take this off. Whisk this up until it's nice and mixed together. And then we add all the other ingredients and let it chill for an hour, it says. Make sure. Yep, 
that looks pretty well whisked. Okay, so we need now to throw in three cups of cabbage. And I wanted to get, because in the recipe it suggests getting um, cat, the regular cabbage like I got and then like the purple cabbage, but they didn't have any purple cabbage at the store, so we're not going to have the purple look. That's okay. It'll still be good. That's about a cup. We're just going to do it like that, like a little candle. I got two of these, but obviously I did not need two of them. And then we need half a cup of shredded carrots. And I went the easy route. I just bought them already shredded. I didn't want to shred them. Okay, shredded carrots. That's good enough. Right there, half a cup. And then we'll also add in the green onions the cilantro, let me finish draining this to make sure there's not all kinds of liquid, the pineapple, I'll add all this, and then the um, jalapeno, okay, toss that in there, and then the jalapeno, ah, jeez, I am just, let's see, oh, and then salt and pepper to taste, I don't know if I put that at the beginning that we needed salt and pepper, but we do. So, I'm going to mix this up. This is fun. It smells, it smells very spicy. Okay, let's add some pepper. Actually, I'm going to take the lid off and kind of add a little bit like that. Salt. I won't do that. It's going to come out really fast. Ooh, this get in my nose can make me sneeze. Excuse me. Okay. I feel like with this sauce, I think we can add a little bit more cabbage. A little more cabbage. I'm gonna add a little bit more um, carrot as well. So there's quite a bit of sauce. Ooh, I don't know if I ever told you guys we went to go see the movie The Invitation. That was really good. If you guys haven't heard of it or seen it, that was a good one. We love our movies, and especially now during spooky season. So much fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge for about an hour, let it chill, and then we'll come back and sample this. Okay, so I have it out of the fridge. Here it is. Let's go ahead and have a little sample. I have a carrot on me. <laughs> Let's see here. There's my bite. Mmm. That's really, that's actually really good. I was a little nervous about him. It's really good. Highly recommend it. I'll put the recipe down below. Let me know if you try it. And I hope you're all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.